What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another brand new moveset guide for the Crown Tundra DLC Pokemon. This one is a Pokemon that I know a lot of you guys were really, really hyped up for. So I'm really excited to bring you guys this moveset guide finally. We're talking about uh, Galarian Articuno in this video. So if you guys are hyped, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I'm going to be dropping a moveset guide for each and every one of the brand new legal VGC Pokemon. But without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into it. And let's try to reach like 200 likes in this video. Let, let's let's try to reach 200 likes. Galarian Articuno uh, is somewhat disappointing for me in the fact that it actually doesn't keep any of its old stab coverage moves in terms of ice moves, uh, which is really, really disappointing because it would have been like the ultimate Landorus counter, but it's also very exciting because they fixed every issue with Articuno. Previously, Articuno was a ice and flying type, which is awful defensively. Psychic flying is still awful defensively. However, they're no longer giving it defensive stats. This thing is a straight up offensive beast with 125 base special attack and 95 speed but uh, the overall stats 90 HP 85 attack 85 defense uh, 125 special attack 100 special defense and 95 speed it's relatively bulky on the special side while still being decently fast and uh, hitting like a truck it has the ability competitive which makes it so if it gets any of its stats lowered by an opposing Pokemon it'll get plus two in its special attacks so that's super solid on intimidate Pokemon on lead making this thing a phenomenal lead in BGC so Let's go ahead and start off with the first move set. Uh, I have three for you guys today, and each and every one of them is actually really, really good. I think this thing's going to be solid in the format, especially as a Dynamax Pokemon. So, this thing, this first move set I have for you guys is Life Orb Tailwind. Uh, it's the only one of the three birds to get Tailwind. Hold on, let me check. Moltres? I, th I don't think Galarian Moltres gets Tailwind, which is really disappointing. I know the other one doesn't. I know that Zapdos doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't get Tailwind, which is so, so bad. If it got Tailwind, it would, it would have been super good. But Galer Galarian Articuno, um, this moveset has uh, Freezing Glare or Psychic, Air Slash or Hurricane, Protect, and Tailwind. And the reason you have an option with the first two stab moves uh, is because it, it is, it is you know, depending on the team that you make. Um, if you're running like a rain team, I would recommend Hurricane over it. Um, or if you don't care about missing and you just want the higher base power on your um, max moves, you can run Hurricane without any rain. However, with Freezing Glare and Psychic, it's actually really, it's sort of a toss-up. It's sort of a toss-up, right? So... Freezing Glare is 90 base power and so is Psychic, and they're both special attacks that are Psychic. Um, but Freezing Glare has a 10% chance to freeze, where Psychic has that, I believe, 30% chance to drop your opponent's special defense. So it's whichever one that you want. It's whichever one of those that you would prefer. That 10% chance to freeze could be game-changing, but it, all, it could also make no difference whatsoever. Um, Psychic is just overall a move that we know is really solid. I guess you could run Psy Shock on this thing as well, but I think Psychic for the power is much more uh, optimal. Uh, Air Slash Hurricane, I already explained, uh, turns into a really powerful Max Airstream. Also saying to note, uh, if you go for Max Mindstorm coming off of uh, Freezing Glare or Psychic, or any kind of Psychic move, Articuno, because it's Flying type, does not actually benefit at all from the Psychic terrain, which is really disappointing. Uh, it would have actually been a really solid uh, Psychic terrain Pokemon if that were the case. Uh, the next move is Protect, and that's because you're going to want to you know, defend yourself from fake outs. You're going to want to scout for things in VGC. Uh, you're going to want to use Protect to get better board positioning, and also these things don't get great coverage. So Protect is just overall a really solid move. And your final move is going to be Tailwind. Tailwind coming off a 95 base speed isn't great, but it's still really, really good on lead. Uh, if your opponent leads off with something that doesn't want to stay in, that's pretty much a free Tailwind turn. You can lead off with a fake out Pokemon, get a Tailwind off, and then you're, you're in business, man. It's going to be a really scary Pokemon to deal with. Um, yeah, I, I just like this moveset quite a bit. Uh, partners, I would recommend. Um, I'll actually get into that in the next moveset because the, this has the same partners as another moveset that I'm going to recommend. So yeah, this thing is going to be really scary on lead and I'm actually really excited for this. Uh, the next moveset I have for you guys is a similar, uh, <laughs> not similar actually, it's, it's very different, uh, but it's a dual screens moveset. This thing has access to both light screen and reflect, which is really good and coming off a 95 base speed, it's going to be pretty easy to get them off. Um, you know, like you're, you'll be able to get one of them off and then the next one's pretty easy to get off, get off especially if you have a fake out Pokemon supporting you. So this thing is going to be running a Tibbin Nature with max HP, 4 special attack, and 252 speed. This thing isn't going to be doing quite as much damage immediately. It's mostly there to sit on the field and support the team. You could actually run Tailwind on it as well over one of your other options and stabs, but I'd recommend the stab moves um, regardless. And I put 4 into special attack. This thing can be optimized a bit better. We don't know what's going to be common in the format yet, so you could optimize it a bit further, make it 
bulky so it survives like one particular hit from a one Pokemon after Reflect. Do whatever you want to it. Um, but this thing, it's going to be running Freezing Glare or Psychic for the same reasons prior. Air Slash or Hurricane for the same reasons prior. Light Screen and Reflect with the Light Clay item. Uh, it's going to be able to set up screens for an extended amount of turns, I believe. What is it, like eight turns? I forget. Uh, but it's going to be able to get those screens off, which will make it so your partner Pokemon is able to Dynamax more safely. It's going to be able to get its weakness policy off safely. Whatever you need it to do, it'll support the team in that way. Uh, but yeah, that's just another interesting option that this Pokemon has. I don't think it's going to be the most common option. I personally think the Life Orb option is going to be the most common. But there is one final moveset that I think is going to be absolutely terrifying for this thing. And that is Articuno with a weakness policy. Now, the reason this is terrifying is because you can't snarl this thing. It will only get stronger and angrier. This thing looks angry. It's going to be running max speed, max special attack, 4 HP with a timid nature, freezing glare, psychic, air slash hurricane, protect, and over tailwind, I would go shadow ball for the extra coverage. It allows you to hit... Um, it allows you to hit Psychic types and Ghost types for super effective damage, which is really, really important. Uh, and it's just a really solid uh, move overall. Now, this thing is going to Dynamax turn 1 and actually partner up with what I assume is going to be a Dusclops or a Mimikyu. And you're going to go for the side Shadow Sneak. You're going to Shadow Sneak your own Articuno after Dynamaxing. And then just spam Max Airstream until everything on the field is dead. This thing is going to be doing massive damage, especially if they lead off with an Intimidator. You'll be able to get an instant plus 4 special attack, which is so scary. It's like a Milotic, but it's able to be fast and physic Or not physic offensive, but fast and super, super offensive. So... This thing is going to be nasty. Um, I think it's going to be so, so scary to face, but let me get into the partners finally. Now, Incineroar is another great partner for this Pokemon, but on this specific slide, I dropped it for the Dusclops because, you know, self Shadow Sneak. But yeah, Incineroar is still really good. Um, I believe that Galarian Articuno actually pairs well with Landorus overall because it isn't too physically defensive. That Intimidate is going to be really, really useful. Uh, on top of that, uh, Landorus is a Pokemon that people want to intimidate. It's very scary to face. Uh, so if your opponent wants to lead off with an Intimidator, it makes it easier for this Articuno to get that uh, ability off where it's able to get plus two special attack and then just Dynamax and steal the game. Um, it's able to pair up well with, uh, what's it called, with um, Rillaboom as well, uh, because this thing, once again, <laughs> it's going to be Intimidated and then Articuno is going to take the game from it. Uh, but yeah, I, I forgot to mention like the weaknesses. Articuno is weak to quite a few things, Rock, uh, Ghost, Dark, electric there are a lot of things that this thing's weak to uh rillaboom well it's not super effective against any of those or i guess it is super effective against the rock types that it's gonna face like tyranitar um it's just generally a really nice pokemon to check them overall uh like i said dusclops is gonna be a self shadow sneak pokemon but you could also go into like a pseudo trick room scenario where if you lead off with articuno and dusclops in game two they're gonna be like oh i know what that thing does and then you just end up switching it out and going for a trick room and sweeping up with like stack attacker or something uh, Cinderace, for the same reason as every other physically offensive Pokemon on this list, it's going to be a Pokemon that gets intimidated. Articuno is going to take the game. Same with Dracovish, same with Tyranitar. All these Pokemon have great synergy with it. Mostly physical attackers because it, they're just so threatening in the metagame that your opponent can't help but um, but intimidate them. So yeah, Articuno is going to be a very solid hyper offense Pokemon. Uh, it's it's so interesting. I I just love that they fixed everything with Articuno. I don't love the design, uh, but I think it's just a generally phenomenal Pokemon. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about Galarian Articuno in the comment section down below. Leave a like in the video and subscribe to the channel for more moveset guides as well as competitive content. I'll probably be dropping a actual VGC match later on today with some of my friends. Uh, we're going to be playing some practice matches. I just have to get my team done. So yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.